playing those JV teams, did that make the transition to high school a little bit easier? Uh, yeah, it was definitely easy. Um, I mean, the physicality, of course, you know, as a young – as a youngster, you got to get used to the physicality of the game. For sure. But um, you know, it, it was definitely because I started I, ninth grade. I was on the varsity. I played um, tight end, and I played um, defense. I played defensive back. I played free safety, and I played cornerback. And I also returned punts and kickoffs. Yeah. So, yeah, I was an athlete. I don't know how I ended up on the D line. <laughs> hey, it all turned out <laughs> for the best, man. Yeah, it turned out for the best. Yeah, you're right hey, about that. Hey, at least you yeah. built your stamina, man. Hey, that's what yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. all about, stamina. <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, the crazy thing about that is that our defensive end got hurt. Yeah. Um, He got hurt, and we had practice one day, and um, my coach, his name is, is Ted Luckadoo, Coach Luckadoo. And <laughs> he, was, he kept trying to get somebody to go play the position. And um, nobody would, like, really volunteer to go play it. And then some of the guys that they tried out to play it, they couldn't play it. You know, yeah. they practiced it. So I'm down there returning punts and kickoffs, practicing, you know, catching the punts and the kickoffs. And uh, I just yelled out, I'll do it, coach. I'll play it, you know. And um, he's like, nah, son, we need you back there, you know. And then, you know, practice go on. They still trying to find somebody. And I'm like, you know what, I'll play it. He's like, well, come on then. And that's thing you know. Um, that was like half of the season, and um, went there. I had I had over ten plus sacks. I Jeez. think I ended up. I think I, half of the season I ended up with fifteen sacks. Yeah. And from then on, I was there. Then my, you know, every year my sack total went up. And my senior year in high school, I had thirty-seven sacks. Jeez. Right. Hey. It was just. Yeah, it was like I was born to be right there. So. Definitely, man. So from West Side to Tennessee, how was that recruiting process for you? Oh man, it was it was it was fun. It was fun because I had a lot of schools, um, you know, that were interested in me. So my top schools, my top two choices at the time that it came down to was uh, Tennessee, Florida, right? So you know, Tennessee, Florida, huge rival. So you know, going back and forth with them, um, and I, you know, it was you know it was. It was, it was fun, yeah. but it was also stressful. <laughs> if you can, you know, trying to pick and trying to see how your future go pan out. Am I picking the right school? Definitely. And then you get a little pressure from the coaches. You know, I never forget. I'm coming off from visiting South Carolina, and um, Coach Spurrier showed up at my house. You know, he was like, you know, I wanted to catch you. When you come out to these visits. And whatever, so and he knew it, it was coming down to Tennessee and Florida, and uh, I remember him sitting right there in my um in my front in my front living room, and he told me straight out of his mouth, "Well, if you choose Tennessee, we gonna kick your ass every year." So, <laughs> 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 so I ended up going to Tennessee, and my whole crew we only beat them once. So you know, hey, that probably put a chip on your shoulder, probably. Yeah, it did. It did. It did. Yeah, it did put it to my show. But I, I, I was really liking Florida. You know, I was really liking Florida. I was really liking Tennessee. But I had a little issue, you know, academically. And, um, you know, Tennessee stood by me. And they they was the one that was um pretty much, um you know, um helped me out as far as, um, you know, with my school and all that stuff by getting eligible and, and you know, so I can be able to, to be eligible. Yeah. Um, so they really supported me, and then Florida had a had a, a rule that they couldn't take. Um, I guess Prop Forty Eight came into existence, and Florida, the state of Florida, couldn't take Prop Forty Eight. So they weren't seen to JUCO. Um, same thing they did with Javon Kirsch. So I would have been there with Javon Kirsch, you know, at that time. That would have been crazy. I would love to see how that played out. Definitely, but, you, you guys would have had a, a, a squad for sure. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, Tennessee, we still had a squad. We had Leonard Little, you know, um, Jonathan Brown. You know, we had uh, Darn Walker, John Henderson, Albert Hangworth. Like, we had, a, a, you know, a real deep defensive line there, and, which a lot of guys went to the pros. And, you know, it, it was it was fun. I made the right decision, you know, and it worked out for me. And Tennessee was, like, the best years of my life, you know. So, definitely. So to that point in your football journey, who and what 
teammate and coach had the most impact on you as a player and person to that point in your career? Well, well, from in college or just high school? Yeah. High school to the college level. Okay, so high school was um, well, Ted Luckadoo. You know, he he was the head coach. You know, he had a lot of influence. You know, he helped me out a lot tremendously. And, you know, and I had a great supporting staff with the other coaches. You know, they all support um, with whatever I need. They gave me all the resources that I need to get. And, um, you know, of course, I had to do the work, you know, but I, I had a good supporting um, cast with me, you know. And a lot of kids don't get that. I, 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 was, I was lucky, you know, to, to have coaches that really took interest in me, you know. And um, when I got to Tennessee, it was John Chavis, Coach Chavis. Coach Chavis, he was actually recruiting me. And then my defense line coach, um, Coach Caldwell, and then um, Dan Brooks. Um, you know, so that was my support system once I got to Tennessee. You know, everything they said they was going to do, they did. You know, and, um, you know, they helped me out. I grew a lot there, you know, um, became a man, you know, from leaving West, West Side, going to Tennessee. And then, you know, Tennessee prepared me for my journey that I'm on now. So it was great, man. Definitely. So once you got to Tennessee, did any players take you under under their wing? Um, Jeff Coleman, I had yeah, Jeff Coleman. He he was he was a five star recruit coming from um, South Carolina as well. He had already been there before me. So once I got the well, actually on my recruiting visit, me and him bonded. You know, um, we became real real tight, and ever since then we like best friends. And um, you know, he he was the person that took me up under my wings and, and, you know, showed me the ropes and, you know, had workout partners and, you know, we hung out a lot, you know, so uh, we drove home, you know, we carpooled together, things like that. So I would say he, he, he was the first person that, that, um, that took me on, on his wings to kind of show me the ropes to understand what college was like. And then, you know, also had a good nucleus of teammates too that, that chimed in and made me feel at home as well. Definitely. So transitioning to the, the pro level, that NFL draft day, what was, yeah. the, what, what was the feeling like going in the first round? Oh, man. Um, I was a little disappointed because I, I, I kind of felt like I, I was happy. But then again, I'm like, man, because I was in a position where I could have went higher, you yeah. know, to, uh, you know, high up in the draft. You know, my name was in conversations. Or well, we may take you. We may take Erlacher. We may take da da da. da you know, like that. And um, so once I actually got drafted, it was just like a weight lifted off my shoulders. You know, then new pressure came. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like all the old pressure gone, not new pressure. But um, yeah, it was definitely a weight lifted off my shoulders. You know, to being able to be in, to be in a position to be able to do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time and to see it come true in that moment, it was just, you know, so um, surreal. And, you know, that was one of the biggest moments in my life and also my family's life. And, you know, um, it started on my journey where I'm on today. I'm in different places in life that I, that I would have never thought of if, if it wasn't for football. Definitely, man. Through that process, what was like the, the highlight of draft night for you? Uh, I guess the highlight was getting dressed. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, getting dressed. You know, uh, I wore black and white, which, you know, I wanted to kind of keep it, you know, yeah. subtle. So, you know, I wore black and white. Just getting dressed and all the thoughts, you know, going through your head. You're just reminiscing about, you know, the middle school days. Or okay. Pop. I didn't play Pop Warner, but playing in the neighborhood, um, you know, going to Tennessee and just the experience there, winning national championship, and it's just like all that came together for this one moment right here. You know, and and it just thought it was just a um, it just solidified all the hard work that you done. You know, that I had put in to be able to get rewarded for that. It was just crazy, man. And you know, then actually hearing your name, you know, um, being called, watching the TV, and like boom. I was on the phone, like, yeah, they go call, you know, they go, we go draft you, da, da, da. And next thing you know, my name came up. I'm like, wow. You know, it was just a, a real, it was a heartfelt moment. It was just like, man, you know, not like, not like I made it, but it was just like, you know, I made, I'm, I'm at a different level now, you know. Definitely. So it's like, I want, I want to keep, keep being at this level. So that's why I said new pressure came, you know, so mm -hmm. just to, 
stay focused and continue to go on your journey as far as you can go. Yeah. Hey, before the draft, did you talk to the Jets at all before they drafted? Yeah. Yeah, I went to I, I flew up to New York thousands of times. Really? They kept bringing me before, making me stay in the hotel room for two, three days, you know, just whatever. And um I kind of feeling that, you know, that they was really um into me, you know, and that I was their guy. So it was just it was just was I gonna be around, you know, for that time, you know. And um, you know, they did the trade where they traded Pars not Parcel, they traded Bill Belichick to get the pick. Right. So that was crazy, right? It all, trade it all worked out. It all worked out. Yeah, you see him later on in your career, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Right. <laughs> so it was just it was just that moment. Yeah, you know, they they talked to me a lot, you know, which is a lot of teams, especially as you get closer to the draft, you start flying out even more to these teams and they, more interviews and things like that. So, yeah.